What's going down, everybody? So today we are reviewing the Goblin Queen. Now, the Goblin Queen is actually a clone of Jean Grey. That's why, if you notice, she kind of looks like Jean Grey. She has, like, the red hair and everything like that. She just looks a little cooler because the, the clothes are a little cooler. But for some reason, this toy, the skin is really pink. Yeah, it's kind of pink looking, which is okay, depending on the light that you're in. You know, it could change and things like that. But this figure came out pretty good. I mean, they gave her the uh, the heels, which are not the best. I mean, the heels, you know how the heels go with Marvel Legends. The good thing is you can stand her up and that little part right there of the cape kind of holds her steady. So that that's a good thing. But she came in pretty good. She has uh, pinless joints. The, um, let's see, there's double jointed, yeah, there's double jointed elbows, there's double jointed knees. She has a twist at the thigh, and also the ankles, of course, can twist and everything like that. So the figure itself is pretty cool. This, uh, the cape is really stiff, kind of looks like a Batman cape. And the cape kind of, if you can see that, is like a peg that's supposed to go in. But a lot, I, I don't know, I pushed it as hard as I could and I can't really get it in. So the cape kind of does this thing, which is cool because it helps her stand up. The head can turn, but not as much because of the hair and things like that. But you can, I mean, you can get her into poses and things. Like, you know, let's say you wanted to pose her kind of like, like that, which is a little hard to, actually hard to do because of the cape. But you can kind of, you know have the cape flare out the back and, and kind of still, you know, do the pose and things. But the figure itself, I think it just looks cool just standing up. Like, standing up regular, like, that just seems cool to me. Now, the figure came with baby cable. So that is actually cable, which is Goblin Queen and Cyclops' son. Her actual name is, um, I think it's Madeline Pryor, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I always thought that Jean Grey was Cable's mother. But it comes to mind that, whoopsie, that, oh, she didn't drop, knocked off Nightcrawler. Everybody did. See what I'm saying? Like, it, it's hard for it to, to stand up. You can kind of get it to stand up, but not so much. Knock down my man Nightcrawler. Let me see if I can get him back up here. Where he was chilling. Uh, it's getting a little hard to get your boy back where he was. Took me a while to get him up there. Okay, he's good. And Emma Frost. But, yeah. So, like I said, I thought that uh, Cable was Jean Grey and Cyclops' son. But come to find out is Madeline Pryor, a.k.a. the Goblin Queen, and... My man Scott, a.k.a. Cyclops. This is their son. So that's what she comes with. Like I said, she comes with Cyclops. Sorry, not Cyclops. She comes with Baby Cable. She also comes with these two fists and these two, like, uh, I guess, magic effects. I didn't even take these out the pack because I, I like her with the hands like that. But she does come with that. She comes with those three, those actual accessories. Like I said, it's a cool figure. It's, um, it's, uh, how could I say it? It's more of a statue figure. Cause you, like I said, you can pose it, but you can't pose it that much cause it's hard for her to stand up on the Marvel heels. Even though they have pegs at the bottom, you can get her to stand up on something with the pegs. I don't like using pegs. And a lot of, I know a lot of people don't. Like, even if you look at the scene in the back here, Nobody's on a peg, but you know, if you have to use it, you got to use it. So she is, I'm guessing she's going to be in the, uh, the upcoming Marvel X-Men cartoon, X-Men 97. She's going to be in that. Cause I don't remember her in the original one back in the day. So she will be a cat. I can't get her to stand up anymore without falling or falling over. She'll be in the original. I mean the new Marvel 97 cartoon, I'm guessing. And she should be a dope character. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
with the show, a lot of people so far are saying that they um they're probably not gonna watch it because some things they did they didn't like. You never know. You just watch it and you find out, man. So that is the Goblin Queen for Marvel Legends X Men ninety seven new show that's coming out, which is actually a continuation of the show from back in the day. And that's the Goblin Queen. Thank you, everybody, for the support. If you want to make sure that you get my videos when they come out, hit that bell. I thank you for your thumbs ups. I thank you for the likes, which are the thumbs ups. And I thank you for your subs. Thank you so much. And you guys all have a wonderful day. Peace.